If you're using the Kajabi sales page and webinar registration page templates provided by Amy Porterfield in her Digital Course Academy course, Digital Course Academy course, you've likely been pulling out your hair trying to figure out why the heck you can't edit and customize some of the sections, including the colors, the text attributes, some of the boxes. So I'm gonna help you figure out exactly how to fix this. I'm Glenn Allen, course creation coach, and I help online entrepreneurs overcome the overwhelm of digital marketing. I've helped several clients with their Digital Course Academy style launches, and when it's time to add their personal branding and colors to their launch pages, they all seem to run into the same problem. So let's dive in. All right, we're inside of Amy Porterfield's Digital Course Academy template for the full sales page, and right away you'll notice there's just some things you're going to want to get rid of, like these dotted lines. I just don't like those. And they're the color of this button. Now this button, you can, you can change the color. You can go to button color. You can pop in your branded colors. If you have your hex codes handy, you just copy those. Go over here to this rainbow circle wheel and just paste them in place. And bam, look at that, it changes that. But what we're not able to do is change these sections. You can go in the text editor. You can go here and change formats. You can go into this HTML section. No matter what you do, you're not able to change the color or the font or these dashed lines. And look at this, you get this Comic Sans looking thing. So all of this looks kind of dated and, you know, for most of you, it's just not gonna fit your brand. You get these dotted lines here. This is stuck as red. You've got this, all these bullet point sections. And then you got this thing, which this is one of the most puzzling pieces of all. Even if you go down here and you're, you're wise enough to figure out, oh, here it is. There's nothing you can do to change the color of these yellow sections here and this border. And then you got more Comic Sans nonsense. And then if you scroll down, there's bullet points all the way down. We can change all the buttons, but we can't change the bullet points. So here's what you gotta do. First things first, we're gonna go to the bottom of this design file. All the way at the bottom is custom styles, below section 18. So below section 18, custom styles. And you're gonna scroll down to the bottom of that and you're gonna find custom code. Now, even if you don't read any HTML, you're worried you're gonna screw this up, don't worry, I got you. We're gonna Control A, Control C, that's select all and copy. If you're a Mac user, when I say Control, just do Command. We're gonna pop this into a text editor. So right here, I've got it already put in here, and I would save it as something like custom code dot doc. Then open another document. So we're not gonna edit that one, we're gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna open another blank document, name it edited custom code, and this is the one we're gonna work on. We're gonna paste this in here. And look at all these sections. You've got section one, it's really hard to recognize what that is. So even if you don't know, you know, this is that dotted bit that was in there. This is the color that's causing all the problem. We're gonna go in and look down a little bit more. We've got this lobster two, that's what's causing that Comic Sans looking font. The easy way to get rid of this is we're just gonna go Control F, and we're gonna look for this color right here, DC595F. That's one of the colors. The other one, later on we're gonna look for is EDCE55. But for now, DC595F, we're gonna pop that into our find field here. Click on replace, and we're gonna change it out for a branded accent color. An accent color is one that really pops, so mine is this orange. My other brand colors lean heavily on this but my accent is that one. So I'm gonna go back to my edit window, replace it, paste it in place. I'm gonna to replace all, there's eight of those. Then I'm gonna go for this EDC E55 color. Now before I do, I'm gonna show you something. It has that yellow border around it, it's about 20 pixels. So if you just don't even want that border on there, here's what you're gonna look for. Border, colon, space, 20, PX. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. It's this section right here. So if you were to just take all this, and go all the way up to the colon, the semicolon, and delete it, there would be no border around that black, that yellow section would be gone. It would just be the black section. So let me show you where that shows up on here. You take that away, <laughs> this yellow border goes away. It'll just be black and whatever highlighted color we have in here. But I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna undo that. But I am gonna change this out. So again, going to five, find a replace. So I'm gonna copy that, go to replace, and I'm gonna replace it with my accent color, replace all. There's four of those. Great, that's taken care of. Now, I don't care for the dashed lines or the dotted lines and all the borders. So I'm gonna put it dashed, and I'm gonna change it to solid. 
replace all, and I'm going to repeat for dotted. Replace all. Yes. Lastly, I'm going to get rid of that Comic Sans looking font, which turns out to be Font Family Lobster to Cursive. So let's grab all that, copy it, everything up until the semicolon, go back to replace, paste that in. And what you're going to want to replace it with is any Google font that fits your brand. So if you already know what this is, just populate it here. Mine happens to be Montserrat. I know it's overused, but I really like it, and I know it's going to be available because it's a Google font. Replace all, hit yes. Bada boom, bada bang. Now I just hit Control A, Control C, and I'm going to go back over to my window here. Right here, I'm going to hit, since it's already highlighted, it's already selected, I'm just going to hit Control V and paste it right over it and watch. Boom, right before your eyes. This turned to solid lines, this turned to orange. My favorite bit is right here. This is no longer dots. Solid lines in my color. This is no longer Comic Sans. So now when I type over this, it's in a font that I actually want to view. And there you have it. If you're looking for a Kajabi expert and coach who's done several DCA launches for authors, coaches, music producers, and other online entrepreneurs, go on over to theglennallenshow.com and learn how I can help you overcome the overwhelm and make your launch a success. And check out my free resources. If you found this helpful, please do me a solid. Hit that like button. Tell me I'm pretty in the comments or something like that, and I'll see you online.